Number 52, what is the activation energy of a reaction and how is this energy related to the activated complex of the reaction? Okay, so let's answer the first part. What is the activation energy of a reaction? Well, the activation energy, which is also known as EA, all right? So spot out where the EA is on this diagram. It is right here, right? The activation energy, also known as EA, is the minimum amount of energy. You could always go above your activation energy, but you can never go below it. It's the minimum amount of energy needed to make products during a collision. Pretty simple. Okay, so the activation energy is always going to be from where your reactants are. Now in this diagram, how we read this diagram is it's just a general energy diagram. It's energy versus extent of reaction, but I like to just call this time, right? As time goes on, you're starting with two components, which is A plus B, and you're going to C plus D. So in this generalized, um, uh, I guess, energy diagram, we have A plus B yields C plus D. And since I have two different letters on both sides of my equation, I know that a reaction occurred. So these are my reactants, and this is your products. And you could think about this as a roller coaster, right? Generally, you will have a starting amount of energy for your reactants. But as your reactants come together, right, and they're going to collide with each other, right, collision theory, that energy is going to increase. And you think about this as kind of like a roller coaster, right? You got to reach all the way to the tippy, tippy, tippy top, right? To then whoo, go down and have some fun. Um, that energy from where you started to the tippy, tippy top is the activation energy. This is the minimum amount of energy that's needed to make your products. If you collide, if A and B collide, and they, they collide at a really, really slow rate, they won't have enough kinetic energy to get over the predetermined activation energy needed for this reaction. This peak, whatever it is for any reaction, is always predetermined. So when these come together, and maybe they're coming in, you know, they're colliding at a, a slow rate, they might not reach that predetermined amount, and they might only be able to get over here. That's not the full activation energy, you did not reach that minimum amount of energy to make those products, that reaction isn't going to occur. Now, of course, you know, you could have big energies, big kinetic energies when these collide, and they'll, you know, greatly go over. That's totally fine. The activation energy is always the minimum amount of energy. You could go higher than your activation energy. You could have more energy, but you can't go lower. So that's the activation energy. It's the minimum amount of energy needed to make uh, your products during the collision. And the activation energy is always from your starting material because those are the ones that are going to be colliding. Who cares about, you know, the products? Because your reactants are the ones that are going to collide with the rate and the kinetic energy. So there we go here. Now. The second part says, how does this activation energy relate to the activated complex? Well, if we look on here, I don't see the word activated complex, but I see another term called the transition state. And the transition state is the same thing as an activated complex. So uh, some teachers or professors might say activated complex. Some teachers or professors might say transition state. I would say transition state is more apparent than activated complex, but we'll go with it. So the activated complex or the transition state is the point in which you have your maximum energy. It's the tippy, tippy, tippy top of the iceberg for your energy diagram. Um, and once you make your or you reach your activation energy, you will form this. You'll form an activated complex or a transition state. A transition state, 
or an activated complex is the most unstable part of, uh, we'll say component of a reaction. The activated complex or the transition state is literally the in-between mode between A and B and C and D. So the actual turning over of A and B into C and D is your transition state. So how is this energy related? Is that if you reach your activation energy, if you reach that minimum amount, you will form a transition state and then you will form the products. So you will form this when the activation energy is um, met. So only when you're able to go all the way to the tippy tippy top, when you reach that activation energy, will you make a transition state. And that's all I got for you. What'd you think? Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, tell your friends, tell your classmates about this cool channel. I think it's pretty cool. Thank you so much. And I hope you're doing well out there. Keep studying hard. Always keep learning. And I'll talk to you soon. Okay. All right. Bye-bye.